Hello and welcome to Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your AEW vs NXT review. I actually think this is the last one that we do with the both of them together. So I think it changes next week or the week after. Um, but yeah, this could be the last one. Who knows? It could be changing, guys. This is a big moment in average Wednesday history. So guys, don't forget to hit <laughs> like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell. And let's get started. So we're going to kick off with AEW as we always do. So we got Christian Cage versus Frankie Kazarian. Um, Christian Cage got the win as expected in his debut match in AEW, you know what I mean? But this is a pretty awesome match. I gave it a three stars. The match told a story. Told the, played on like Cage's age and being away from the ring for a little bit of time and stuff like that. But really, really good match. Really good comeback story for Cage. And I loved this one. I really did. I think... I went into this thinking it was going to be shit. Like, I literally went into this match thinking, okay, this one is going to be an utter shit show of a match. But it was really good. Um, I thought it was either going to be a quick pin for, like, in three minutes or something, or it was going to be longer, give Cage a win, and it's not going to be that good. But it was fun. Then we got an exhibition match. Cody Rhodes versus QT Marshall, special guest referee Ann Anderson. It was a no contest here. Um... You know, it was the stuff after the match that really mattered, so I'm not really going to rate this one. But, I pre pretty much, it was another stable in AEW. You know, we had QT Marshall, there was a, it was a cool segment after, like, Dustin Rhodes going into steps and stuff like that. Obviously, they're kind of breaking up that nightmare family. But it's another stable forming, which, yeah. And I'm not, like, I like stables and stuff, I, I just feel AEW has a little bit too many of them. Then we got John Moxley versus Booney. Moxley got the win we have a rest stoppage um because he had the sleeper on it two stars it was it was okay it wasn't really anything special then we got a couple of segments and we got the brawl between mgf's gang and chris jericho's gang pretty much that's what it was now the brawl was cool like i liked it and stuff like that but yeah it's like again it's just too many stables then we got lucha brothers and the kid versus uh, kenny omega and the good brothers Omega and the Good Brothers got a win as expected. 2.5 stars. It was a really enjoyable match. I honestly thought this one was really cool. Um, yeah. And then we got Bunny and Nyla Rhodes versus Take On A and Shida. Nyla Rhodes and Bunny got the win. Okay match. Two stars here on this one. Then the Arcade Anarchy. Miro and Kip Sabin versus Chuck Taylor and Orange Cassidy. Um, Cassidy, Taylor and Trent. Kind of got the win. Do you know, it was what it was. It was an enjoyable match. I gave it three stars because it was a really enjoyable match. But, I don't know. It, three stars is probably about too much. But I gave it three because I thought it was enjoyable. Um, mostly for the Miro stuff. But really, yeah. I'm not a big Orange Cassidy fan, so... Overall, I'm going to give the whole show a three stars. It was an enjoyable show. They had a cool couple of promos. The Sting and Darby Allen one was actually pretty cool. Um, but overall, it was it was a, a good show. A better show than we've had from Dynamite over the past couple of weeks, I would say. Um, then we've got NXT, uh, which is Cameron Grimes versus Roderick Strong, kicking it off. Grimes got the win. Um, a really good match, really enjoyable. 2.5 stars. To... It was a good opener. <coughs> Sorry, I still know what that was. It was a good opener. Then we got Escobar and Tyler Breeze. Escobar got the win. It was a solid match, right? I'm giving it a two stars, but it was nothing really special. Like, nothing really special. Um, then we got Candice Rowley and India Hartwell versus two kind of unknowns. Um, then uh, it was a, a squash match. Hartwell and El Rey got the win. After a Hartwell and Candice are kind of on the mic a little bit, cutting a promo. Then Amber Moon and Blackheart come running out and there's a little kind of thing. Then we got Raquel Gonzalez versus Zoe Starks. Squash again. Raquel Gonzalez got to win. Two stars. Um, Casey and Caden versus Mi Young and uh, Lee. I literally don't know how to say these names, but uh, Mi Young and Lee got to win. Not much here. Again, literally nothing much here. Then we got the Gauntlet Elimination Qualifying Battle Royale. Which early night ended up winning, but obviously it was like the pairing people off and stuff like that. But it was alright, 2.5 stars. It was a typical battle royale. It was not like, again, it was nothing really to write home about. Overall, I'm going to give NXT 2.5. It was an enjoyable show. Like, it wasn't the best show. 
it was just enjoyable. And this is the problem I feel with NXT as well. Nothing to do is right home. And for me, like you're not sitting there like you have to go see this. You get that once in a like once in a while, but it's it's no that you have to go see, and the same goes for AEW. It's not a must go see show. Do you know what I mean? Like I really enjoyed AEW tonight. I probably would say I enjoyed AEW better than NXT tonight. But again, it's not a must go see show. Like there was a bunch of promos and stuff like that on AEW as always do. It's like all oh, the storytelling, and then they've got the like all the diff- all the different kind of stuff that they have. But I don't know. I don't know. I just felt. The whole, recently wrestling on Wednesdays has really just felt off for me, but tonight AEW was better than NXT for me, NXT was nothing to write home about, AEW had that Christian debut which was probably the best part of the show, but the whole show for AEW just was really, really enjoyable. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about AEW and NXT tonight, did you enjoy them, did you think they were a little bit just okay. Like, I was surprised at how okay NXT was compared to what they've got next week. You know what I mean? I thought they would have been trying to build it up even more. But I guess they know that if you're going to be watching Mania, you're probably just going to watch NXT as well. And they kind of know that the crowd they've got. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you back here later on tonight for another podcast. See you later, guys.